Okay, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I, I hope you find the video useful and uh, helpful in your designing process. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for uh, coming back and watching uh, and all the support. It's greatly appreciated and also Happy New Year. Uh, today we're going to make either a pendant or an earring. haven't really decided. We'll figure it out as we go. Uh, but uh, first thing we're going to do is, uh, oh, I'm going to break this video up into several parts. First part will be making the head. The second part will be uh, uh, the, the bottom part of the pendant or earring. And the third part will be the top part. Um, but uh, the first part, what we're going to do is uh, sh show different ways of making heads, okay? Uh, and kind of interesting maybe uh, for some of you who haven't really made your own heads before. Uh, so uh, if you have though, you might want to just go ahead and skip to the next part if you want to watch the video. Uh, but here what we're going to do is we have a pear shape about 10 pointer. We're going to take it, we're going to flip it to 180 to make it a teardrop shape. And we're going to go ahead and hit enter. Now uh, the head part, you can just go to your settings, grab a head right. Uh, and put it on there. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the V-tips with smaller stones. Maybe when you get in quarter carats, stuff like that, V-tip, mm, all right, I guess. Uh, but I don't particularly care for them on smaller stones. Uh, but you could, uh, you know, manipulate your head, and then when you're done getting it all in order, uh, just hit, you know, enter, and then you take your head, and if you didn't like the V-prong, and ungroup it. Uh, and then just get rid of that head and then draw uh, a round prong out there, right? You could do that. Uh, that's one way of doing it with uh, the V V prong or getting rid of the V prong. Uh, another way is you could take it, go to your uh, head and then go to your three dots there in your dynamic command and hit styles. Uh, and wait for the t and you could pick out a style you saved or you could choose one here's one that has a V prong uh, and hit load uh, and you get something like this here <laughs> uh, which is not going to work for us right so what we're going to do is just we're going we're going to make it <coughs> and it's really easy so it's uh, no big deal so we're going to take the the prong and we're going to go back to our gems vein uh, ribbon and we'll click on gem offset curve and select that and we're going to drag that in just a little bit so we don't want it seen from the outs or the looking down on the stone right so we're just going to take that in I have my record history off for this next part uh, so we're going to go in and we're going to select that curve and we're going to duplicate it in place and then we're going to go to transform scale 2d from f4 make sure we're on yellow and drag it in something like that okay if I would have had my record history on everything would have updated with that curve that I just manipulated so uh, that's why I didn't have it on uh, and I'm going to select all those and I'm just going to drop them down to around here uh, because we don't want them right on the girdle, right? We want them down a little lower. Uh, and then I could scale them again a little bit, but uh, we won't. Now I'm going to hold down Alt again here and drag it down to where I want the bottom of my head to be and hit. Uh, and then from here, we're going to go back to scale because we don't want it straight down. Uh, from F4 and we'll just scale those bottom ones in a little bit something like this here so we'll have a little uh, slant to our head alright and now we'll just hide the, our gemstone okay you could draw the lines out there or you could uh, uh, loft them however you f you know what's best for you we'll just go ahead and loft them it's probably the easiest way uh, so we'll loft uh, from this curve here to this curve and we'll change it to green and hit enter 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 and we'll take this curve here to this curve here and hit enter 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 
one more time or a couple more times actually this one here to this one here enter 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 and this one here to this one here enter 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 okay so now we have our head base right okay so we're going to take all green we're going to join it together and we're going to check it close poly surface okay so we're good to go uh, at this point let's go ahead and take our yellow turn it to gray and turn it off you never know when you might need it uh, so there's our head now let's bring back our stone uh, we need to put some prongs on it right so let's go to a curve and we'll just grab a circle and looking down change it to yellow looking down here about right here should be good and we'll just make a prong something like about like this we'll take that prong and we'll drag it up to around the top of our table of our stone and then we'll go ahead and select that again and hold down control or alt so I think yeah alt and drag it down to the base of our head and from that bottom part we'll just go ahead and drag it into I'm looking at my perspective kind of right here see how far it's being dragged in uh, and drag it in a little bit more something like that there okay uh, and then from here we'll just grab a line curve uh, and s from that quad to that quad and let's see that's way off okay so we'll go from here to here and we'll pick that and we'll just rebuild it because it's only got two points on it right now rebuild and we want to change it to three points and we'll hit enter and uh, what we want to do is turn on those points there and we want to select that and probably the top view would be our best and so all my lines light up my two lines light up so I know I got the point and I'm just going no I don't want to snap it let's undo that real quick uh, I'm going to turn off my O snaps grab that point again and just drag it out a little bit so I got a little U going on alright and then I'll hit enter and I'll keep those points on for right now uh, and then from here I'm going to dra go to uh, one rail sweep uh, let's and I'm going to select this curve this profile this profile and hit enter and we do not want mirror cap on we want to take this one and just make it zero and take a look kind of a large prong not too bad though uh, we'll hit enter now if you you didn't like the the prong thickness uh, you could click on your yellow uh, make sure your O snaps are turned on your center is turned on you could go to transform go to scale 2d click on it and then just kind of drag it to where you want and then do the same thing for the bottom one if you can pick it <laughs> right click and kind of drag it there you go something like that yeah I'm gonna take that one back yeah keep it there all right uh, and now I'm going to take my yellow and get rid of it and then take my prong mirror it f4 hold down shift so I have my two prongs on the outside there we go alright now we need to do the top one or the for the point of the stone right so basically same thing go back to our uh, circle this time I'll turn on grid snaps just so I can get it and we have it at point one so the right on that line right so I'll go somewhere this one will probably make just a little bit bigger because it is it is the point so we'll take that I'm gonna drag that in just a little something like that and I'll go to my front view 
or side view and grab take it up to around the top of my stone girdle or the table of my stone and then I'll hold down alt drag it down to the bottom and then drag it over into my head something like that and that looks uh, maybe a little bit more something like that and then what I'll do is I'll go to uh, arc direction and go from that quad to that quad and just give it a little circle there a little roundedness uh, go one sweep one here 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 and enter and again we do not want uh, the cap mirrored one two up to zero and hit enter and then grab our yellow and change it to gray so now we have our head okay so so far so good all right uh, now we need to go ahead and just join that together so we'll just go to our solids boolean union we'll grab this we'll go ahead and grab this uh, no 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 not that uh, this is our first surface hit enter this this and this and hit enter and enter and we should have some dupes out there so let's make sure we get rid of all the dupes so I'm gonna hide that okay so we did show it back alright so we got this part first so this will be our head part of our item let's go to let's go to all views actually and there we go there's our head to get started so that's how you would make a head pretty much for anything really uh, one e if you just want a solid base and uh, rounded prongs on it you could put different kind of prongs on it no big deal uh, but that will be part one there okay okay here we are back inside matrix gold uh, we'll go move on to step two we have our head design so we're gonna go ahead and start uh, making our pendant or earring whichever the case may be <laughs> when we end up here uh, probably all three actually uh, so um, this will be a little bit more detailed so I'll, I'll try to go a little bit slower on this one because there's a lot we're going to do I'm gonna make a specific way uh, so I hope it helps in uh, further design areas uh, so first we'll go grab an arc direction curve and uh, we'll just uh, change to yellow and we'll place it out here with our grid snaps on so I know it's right there on our uh, plane there and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of design it backwards uh, so let's let's go ahead and get this viewport active and we'll start maybe from here uh, down to yeah about here and then we'll just drag this over yeah that's good and then what we're going to do from here is go ahead and uh, mirror that over from F4 okay and then we'll uh, reactivate by right clicking oh uh, we'll have to go back sorry uh, so we'll get out of that go to our arc direction and we'll snap with our end snap here and over here and we'll just drag this down a little something like that and we'll just uh, join all this together and we'll clean it up a little bit round it off on those edges and point two should be fine and we'll hit enter okay so from here what we're going to do is we're going to add gems <laughs> on our curve so we're going to do a little bit backwards we're going to uh, make everything around our gems so uh, and we'll go over to our uh, gem menu uh, dynamic commands and we'll gem placement uh, no uh, orientation uh, down okay so we have something like that and what I want to do is I want to uh, take this stone and put it right there on our mid there and then I want to drag this one over and place it right there on our mid so that they're all evenly spaced and they're at our corners right 
and uh, let's check this side 1.3 should be fine and we'll just go ahead and uh, spacing looks yeah but our gems are nice and lined up so we'll just accept that and we'll take those uh, and ungroup them and we'll deselect this one by holding down alt and clicking on it oh, one more time so I'll undo that so they should be all joined we'll go and ungroup hold down control click on this one group them back together and then uh, mirror them from F4 over to the other side so it takes those stones and lines them up exactly the same alright and then f what we'll do is we'll go down to the curve again and we'll just place some more gems uh, orientation again uh, down and we want to drag our end position over around to this side here and our start position over to around this one here and kind of get them lined up pretty good and now everything is all nicely laid out and they're the same size and everything spacing I didn't really change so they should be the same uh, but that's okay they, they look good so we'll go ahead and accept those and then we'll just take all our blue our stones and group them together so now they're all the same okay so right now we'll just go ahead and go to our settings and go ahead and add our prongs on those and it kind of uh, does something strange here don't really know what's going on there let's go ahead and what is the deal with that thing there uh, we'll go to style auto let's see what it happens when I manipulate them see if it goes gets better we don't need them so low yeah it's kind of jacked up so let's go ahead and uh, undo that <coughs> what is the deal with this thing it's placing two on the inside of one and this one is just placing out there by itself so actually let's uh, go ahead and go back to manipulating because we can just delete those and we can work on uh, the other stones here and it looks like uh, it didn't place any prongs here which is no big deal because we can go back and add those uh, so let's uh, check our prongs uh, without five should be fine let's look at this one here spacing let's go ahead and nudge that uh, in a little taper nudge and we'll just keep it like that we'll go ahead and hit enter now we'll take these ungroup them and we'll go ahead and get rid of uh, this one here this one here this big one here and that one there for some reason okay and then uh, looking at it looks like this one's down for some reason and this one here so let's grab these two and let's pull them up to meet our other ones oh turn off grid snaps sorry kind of place them just so we can see them and we need to grab this one here too and do the same thing okay so everything else looks okay we have that one right in the middle there which we're going to just go ahead and delete and I, I like the way that is I like the way that is actually, actually let's go to our top view and let's take a look at this could put one larger prong right there so let's delete that let's go ahead to our I think it's our solids menu and we can grab our MSR and we can just kinda see and we should be able to scale that 
so we'll go to our uh, transform and we'll go to scale uh, 2D a complete command object to scale this one uh, hit enter from our end there and we'll just kind of make that a little bit bigger and we'll delete this one and we'll go back and uh, move this one a little bit so it's kind of like right there so it shares all three there and looking around just checking everything and we'll hit enter okay and now we need to uh, get these over here so this one we do need to get rid of uh, keeping those we need to grab that one this one oh, there's two of them so let's get rid of one oh, undo I grab both of them let's get one of, rid of one of these delete and let's go ahead select this one this one and this end one here I think that's all we need and we'll mirror it over to our other side holding down shift click and now we have all the prongs lined up where we want them so now we'll take all of purple and we'll group them together okay so we have all our prongs on there alright so from here what we want to do is we'll go to our top and we're going to grab our line there that our curves on my record histories off we want the l line there okay and now we're going to offset that line uh, from curve offset we'll do through point both sides and this will be our outside our, our inside of our channel so this will be where the stone is so what I'm gonna have to really keep an eye on is right over here because we want that prong on the outside right uh, so something like uh, this should be fine and we'll hit enter Cause, and I don't uh, really particularly care for that roundness there so what we're going to do is go ahead and take this curve and we'll just explode it let's try this let's see it'll probably round it off oh no it doesn't so let's take this one turn off our old snaps and we'll place this one like that there. We'll just go ahead and get rid of this one because uh, we don't need it. There we go. And we'll take this one and we'll hold down shift uh, and open it up just a little bit. Well first we'll click on our hold down shift click on our uh, um, box there and just kind of uh, I think I can go here a little bit real close to the bottom but I have a little gap at the top and then I'll just click on it and drag it up a little bit something like that there so it it's more uniform and this one here it looks like my yeah it looks okay okay so this here right is a little bit off so what I can do is I can grab a uh, arc direction and kind of start uh, let's turn on our snaps and go from uh, here over to about here and just kind of drag that like that <coughs> excuse me and then we'll uh, take this curve and we'll go ahead and uh, split it uh, with this one here and hit enter so it should this should split off and then we'll take uh, this one and split it uh, split it with 
this one and hit enter and then we'll take this piece and delete it all right so we have the one side that side looks okay everything else looks good so what I'm going to do is go to my line right click so I go to both sides and uh, F4 is my center and then we'll just uh, take this entire curve here and this piece here well with that we don't have to worry about uh, and we'll split with this here and hit enter now I should be able to just delete this side make sure this side's all one piece join together and mirror it from F4 oh, it's not didn't join for some reason We'll do it one more time. Enter. There we go. And we'll mirror this from F4. Holding down Shift and lock it all together. So now we have uh, the inside of our channel where our stones are going to go. And it looks all nice and tight. So it should be okay. Uh, now let's see. Uh, Let's see uh, if we can uh, uh, clean that up a little bit without it distorting too much. So we'll take that, we'll select this, oh, we didn't join them together. Back out of that, make sure I grab both curves, get rid of the center line here, we don't need it. Go ahead and grab both those curves and join them together. So we should have one closed curve. And now we'll take that, go to clean up, Play point two, Ch check it out, and it rounds off everything nice and clean. All right, and then we want to do the same thing to the inside. So, uh, click on my curve, right click on the mouse, and then hit enter, and it puts everything together, which looks good. All right, so far, so good. Now, uh, let's go ahead and take this curve. Now, this is the inside of our rail, right? And this is the inside. So this is uh, kind of be the in, uh, insert where the stones will go. Uh, so I'm going to take this curve here, and I'm going to offset it with a, let's see. Well, before I do that, let's go back keep those pointed okay still joined together now let's offset it so that it's all solid offset it I'll do a point let's see distance I'll do a point five enter and it gives us that and then I'll take this one and recall that command to point five on the inside so there's the rails all right and let's see i don't know if i oh okay ungroup ungroup hold down control select our center stone there and then regroup okay let's take our center stone turn it to different color what's going on here take our center stone different color and then we'll take all of blue group that together so we got those grouped we got that stone by itself all right let's see where we're okay I don't know if I just want that small of a gap eh, actually it's not bad okay so we'll do that all right so I have those so I need to go ahead and I'll just select all these curves and I'll go to clean up enter so now they're all exactly the same and we have a half millimeter here and a half millimeter here with our stones going through there alright so this will be the top look so this will be the rail going around this will be the insert where the stones are and this will be the other rail going around on the inside uh, now here's where it gets a little complicated so let's change to wire mode I'll go back uh, I have this so it shows up a little bit better so you can see it a little bit better but if it's irritating please uh, let me know or if it's helpful uh, please let me know uh, either one uh, but right now I'll just go back here uh, 
I have to think this through for a second. Okay, so what we're going to do is all our stones are one side. So what we're going to do is take uh, this rail and this rail, the inside rail, right? And we're going to go to our front view and we're going to hold down Alt so we duplicate those with my record history off. So hold down all, and we're going to bring them down to, let's see, where do we want the indentation? Maybe a 0.3 or so? Yeah, something like that. And then we're going to hold them down again and bring them down about here. Okay, so this will be the cutout on the inside, which you'll see uh, uh, in a little bit here. Let's go back so I have that, right? Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and join those together so you can kind of get a look. Let's go to our wireframe so we can kind of see. It kind of looks messy. Uh, but let's go ahead and join those together so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, so I'll uh, change to red, make red my active color. Uh, and then I'll just go to my quad with my quad snaps on from here over to this quad the line on the inside there and then I'll go from this quad up to this quad right yeah well actually not yeah that one let's see here and then go from this quad. Oh wait, a minute, let's see. Oh no, I have to bring those others down. So let's let's get rid of this one here. Let's just keep that one at the bottom for right now, because I have to bring this rail down. Okay, so let's see. Uh, yeah. Okay. Then it'll come. That's the inside, so let's grab this outside one here, and this outside one here, holding down shift. And this will be the bottom of our item, so let's go to our front view. Hold down Alt one more time, and we're going to drag that one all the way down to where we want the bottom of the pendant to be. Okay, so here. Alright. And let's see, we need to take this one and holding down shift, grab this one, go to our front view, and one more time, holding down alt, drag this one down to the same line as that one. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and do a little bit more uh, lining up. And we're still in red, so I'll go from here down to this quad here. And then this quad end here to this quad here. And then up to this quad. And then we'll go from this quad over to this quad. And we'll go from this quad to that quad. As you can tell, we're, we're starting to get a profile, right? So we'll right click, go from that quad o over to this one here, and that quad there to this quad, that quad there to this quad, and this quad here, all the way down to our quad here, and then this quad here to that quad, and that quad to that quad end. Now we have a profile, right? We have a, a profile for everything. So uh, it'll be hollow underneath, and it'll have a little indentation for our stones there. Um, now, uh, you could actually join that together and just sweep it, uh, which would be uh, maybe okay sometimes. 
but a lot of times what happens is uh, you get a little uh, kink or something it doesn't really stick with the rail on certain parts so really the the best way to do it is just do your uh, surface to uh, sweep on each one it takes a little longer but I think your results are probably uh, better uh, so what we're going to do is do that we'll go to our surface 2 uh, parametric history or hi dynamic history command parametric history uh, and we'll change the layer to green and we'll just start from the inside it doesn't matter where you start uh, but just work your way around in one direction it seems to be the easiest uh, so uh, wireframe better uh, probably a little complicated a little bit easier to see I don't know which one okay we'll take it on wireframe uh, we'll go ahead and select that bottom one there right and it goes up to this one here and then our profile this one and hit enter and it looks like a pretty good surface so we'll hit enter again and then we'll just start slowly working our way around so I'll right click select on this rail here this rail here and then this uh, profile and hit enter enter and we'll just keep working around. I'll go ahead and hide the blue and hide the purple. And I'll click right click here, 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 enter, enter, right click here over to here. And then this is our profile and enter, enter. And then I'll right click bringing back the command this pro rail this rail and then that profile enter enter and keep working my way around the profile enter enter and then again from here here to here enter enter and again from here here to he here enter enter and then grab this one here and over to here and then this one enter enter and two more let's see for this one here this one here this one enter enter and our last one here this one this one this one enter okay so let's turn on see what we got okay so now we have uh, our indentated hollowed out earring pendant whatever you want to call it and we'll change it to uh, plastic and it looks fine right okay uh, so that's that uh, we'll go back here and we'll need all those curves there we'll get rid of some of them but we'll need most of them uh, so from here what we're going to do is go ahead and grab all of green it, with the exception of our head there we don't need that so holding down control click on that and then join all that together and let's see if we have a uh, closed poly surface it says open so I missed something or something didn't sweep real well oh right there <laughs> okay well see that's why you always check before you move on right uh, so I must have missed this one so let's go back to our sweep two and we'll select uh, this rail let's see which one oh no this one here this one here and this one which one is it this one and hit enter and enter now we'll take all a green and we'll join it together and we have a closed poly surface okay so <coughs> my bad missed one but y that's why you check. Always check uh, whenever you join to something together. Make sure you take a look in, at, at it. So we're going to take all of red because I don't believe we need that anymore. And we're going to change that to gray and get rid of it. And we do not need this center line anymore for our gemstones. But we might need it later. So you never know. But we will need quite possibly all the yellow. Uh, it depends on how this next step goes so we're going to keep all those except we're going to just go ahead and hide them for a few seconds uh, so right now we'll just turn them off and of course those edges are pretty sharp so we want to do a little cleanup work before we move on 
So what we'll do is we'll go to uh, tools. No solids, I think. Yeah, solids. And we'll go to fillet edge and we'll take that. Preview no, change that to yes. And chain edges. Okay, so we're going to take uh, this uh, here and go ahead and start chaining those edges. That's it. There we go, that one. And it looks like that's it. It's telling us to click more, so there's something we're missing here. Nope, not that. Let's go back. Let's see, there's a piece or something that we might be missing. Let's go to view. Let's go to our zoom. Wait for it. There we go. Now we can move in real close. It looks like that's okay. Alright, uh, so r escape out of that. And let's try it again. Uh, curve. No. S solid. Flay edge. And. Uh, okay, one more time. There we go. It took a while. Alright, so we'll click on chain edges. We'll do the f center one first and it looks like that one clicked okay so we'll just go ahead tolerance one we don't want tolerance of one but we'll hit enter and we want to change that tolerance uh, so okay we'll hit enter and of course it blew I knew that uh, so we'll do it one more time here right click bring it back click on that edge we want to change it preview yes enter it should say select all there we go and I want to change it to a we'll just do a point one just very small should be fine hit enter and let's see if that first one did okay so close poly so we're still good all right I'll right click on that we'll go to the inside here just work our way around uh, chain edges go ahead and hit uh, enter One more time. Enter. Enter. Okay. So far, so good. Check it. Closed. Okay. The reason why I'm doing this is because if it blows up or it gets um, a, a problem, uh, I can go back and fix that one problem right away. Uh, I know that that one's okay. I know that one's okay. So as I find one that's not okay, I am able to uh, go back and fix it before I move on to the next one then have to go back through all of them uh, and find out which ones uh, jacked up so let's put ch chain edges here and I'll click on here and of course this one's going to give us uh, choices but I can't see the choice so let's go ahead and hit none and that's going down that's worrisome Okay, so let's back out of that one. No, no, we don't want to do that. So we'll go here. I want to be able to see everything. So uh, let's go ahead and click on this one. This one. This one. And it looks like it's all good. I didn't click on chain edges that time. I just selected them individually looks like it's okay I got a feeling this one's not gonna work though I'll have to go back and manipulate uh, so let's go ahead and take that uh, enter enter okay so now let's take a look up oh, close poly survey it worked okay so far so good alright so I'll right click bring it back out select this one this one that one there hit enter enter close poly service now we'll work on our underneath side here we'll go ahead right click bring it back out select each one individually and it looks like I got them all we'll hit enter enter and check closed alright and right click bring it back out that one this one this one and we'll hit enter enter and check close 
All right, now we'll try this inside here. Enter, enter, check, closed. And our last one, I think. Enter, enter, check, closed. So, so far, so good. And let's just go around and check all our, make sure I didn't miss anything. Our top, one, two, three, four look good. One, two, three, four look okay. All right, so we're good to go. And we have a closed poly surface. Now let's bring back our stones and our prongs. And we have a solid piece. And our stones, of course, right now are still off our uh, rail, right? So let's uh, go back and I put them on individual, so those rails aren't going to really mean anything. So let's go back and select our gemstones and our prongs, and we'll just manually take it down. So we'll go to our front view, and we'll go to wireframes, so we can see where our base is, which is, it comes up right in here, and then that's it. So it doesn't need to go down a whole lot. Uh, so let's take this and take our stones down to where the girdles of the stone are just above that rail there and we'll hit enter and our prongs are not sticking through the bottom which is cool <laughs> uh, let's go back to our perspective take a look and there's our midsection uh, let's see let's go underneath let's go take a look and see what our well actually before we do anything else this would be a, a great time to go ahead and job bag so let's do that give it a second to load all that data all right saved so let's go ahead and uh, take our gemstones here let's do our cutters get that out of the way uh, we'll do our put our cutters on and everything looks to be sticking through okay. Let's go to our wireframe here. And let's, where's our manipulation handles? Right here. Let's drag this up just a little maybe. And let's check it out underneath. Alright, so everything looks okay. Uh, we'll just go ahead and let's turn to wireframe here. I think I'm going to make my... Uh, girdle thinner and I'm going to bring it in just a little bit there just leave it a, a little bit uh, and then we're going to go ahead take a look at that one more time in shaded mode all right it looks okay and I'll hit enter and we'll just try our boolean here uh, so boolean difference our surface, enter, our second surface, enter, and enter, and we'll hide our gemstones. After we get rid of this, we'll take a look at it, we'll change that to gray. And we have all our cutouts, and they look all nice and clean on the inside there. Alright, so last thing we need to do perhaps is just go ahead and boolean union those prongs there's no reason not to right so we'll go ahead and boolean union we'll select this surface enter this surface here enter and give it a little time to take care of that and hit enter and we'll just that's that group okay and we'll go ahead and turn those to gray so we have everything done okay we had that one big prong there looks kind of strange but uh, I think it will work out okay kind of gives it that uh, point there and then this one has the two so keeps it all balanced all right so well there's our midsection uh, or our lower part of our pendant and uh, now we'll move on to uh, the top of our pendant and uh, that'll be part three uh, so hope you find the video useful so far uh, but here we go we'll move on to part three now uh, but before I do there's just one thing I wanted to uh, explain uh, you know I have my uh, rail out there for my gemstones 
uh, and everything. And uh, the reason why I did not put a profile on that and just sweep it is because I wanted these edges nice and sharp like this. And if I would have ran a profile, uh, one or uh, two or whatever, it, it would have probably overlapped and gave me a, a bad surface. This one's not the greatest, uh, but it's it's definitely better than what I would have got uh, gotten. And also, uh, if I tried to lay my stones on that uh, profile, uh, my uh, uh, insert profile command or insert ISO curve probably wouldn't work uh, as well. So I just built everything around the stones so I could keep those uh, nice edges there. So that's that's why I did that. So let's go ahead and start moving on. So let's go to our top view. And uh, what I want is I want a, a diamond right here uh, or some, some kind of gemstone. I haven't decided yet. Probably be sapphires. Uh, so let's go to our uh, gems and just grab a gem. And then we'll go ahead and drag that up to here. <clears throat> and of course we don't want it that huge. Uh, we're going to drop it down. We want to keep the, uh, if it's an earring, you know, you don't want a one, well I guess some people might. Uh, but we'll go ahead and drop it down to maybe like a, a five pointer, about the same size as our center. So maybe a little bit smaller, maybe a three pointer would be better, or four. Let's try four. Yeah, but uh, let's go to 4.3, 5.2. Let's take a 5.2 and we'll just leave it right there for right now. And right away we'll just go ahead and give it a bezel. Uh, and we'll do a little manipulation on this, not a whole lot. Eh, actually, we won't do much at all, actually, except for maybe depth. Uh, let's see, uh, we, point 0.8. Uh, well, by the time it's polished and everything, it'll probably be all right. Of course, we don't want it setting up that high on our stone. Uh, let's go to our front view. Uh, let's go to our right side. And. Uh, we do want it uh, so that our, our table's right at the top there. And let's see, the height, we'll drag it up to around the same edge as our uh, pendant there, or earring, whichever it may be, and we'll just angle it out just slightly. Not totally straight, but close. And then we'll take a look at our bottom, and we can open that up, give it some more light, and make it a little lighter around the 0.45 should be okay and we can probably angle this in a little bit giving it something like that so it's not as heavy and uh, we'll just dome uh, dome I always I'm not really sure about the rounded dome uh, we could always circle set it I'll drop it down just a little and we'll go ahead and accept that all right, so there's that. We'll go to our uh, top view at this point. And now here is a little bit of uh, manipulation we're going to do. Uh, so we're going to go to our curves, uh, go to our uh, arc direction again, and we'll just grab a curve. We'll change it to yellow. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and get all my yellow here because we're pretty much done with that. So uh, I'll go ahead and select all yellow and turn it to gray, keeping it, of course. Now I'll go back to my uh, arc direction and we'll just uh, draw a curve out. I'll turn off my snaps. I want it to go into this bezel. This is how it will be connected and we'll, we'll join it here later. Uh, first, I need to find out what we're going to do here. So after I get it all made we'll join everything together, this included. Uh, so let's let's go into our bezel a little bit and because uh, we can always extend it, no big deal. Uh, so we'll take it out and we'll take it eh, maybe around here and then arc it. Something like that and we'll drag this over just a little bit something like uh, that perhaps and uh, now I'm just going to offset this offset the curve 
and I want it through point, not both sides this time, just maybe something like this. We want to put some stones on there, so we, but we want to taper our stones. So uh, you'll see what I'm going to do here in a second. Uh, let's see. We'll do uh, something like uh, that, perhaps. And we're going to, not wrong one, let's back out of that one. I got the wrong one selected. Okay. Uh, I want this one, and I want to change the direction of that. So it kind of flares out like that. Okay. And we'll click off that for a second here and give it a little thought. Uh, all right, so from here what I want to do is I'm going to click on my line curve and turn on my uh, snaps. And I'm going to go from maybe that end point and drag it so I get something like this. And I'm going to take this and hide it real quick. And I'll, uh, oh, not hide, uh, grab my line again and go from here over to here. Alright, so something like that should be okay. Well, actually, let's do the same thing we did. Let's go ahead and delete those real quick. Uh, yeah. Take this curve here, we'll offset it again. Uh, and we'll go through through point, and we'll take it to maybe like around here. And we'll just go ahead and get rid of that one. And we'll just go ahead and do the same thing we did. We'll put sl slide our gems on there. So we'll build everything around our gems. Uh, gems on curve. And position, orientation, down. And we'll drag those out. Something like that. And we'll go to taper this time. Uh, we want to taper those stones. Taper end. Uh, and we'll, let's see, what do we got here? 1.3, we want to drag that down. Let's put our, uh, oh, okay, well, well, we need that stone there, so we'll do it again. Uh, so there, orientation, down, and drag that out, and we want to drag this down about here. And we want to go to uh, taper, end, and it doesn't have to be real big. Something like that will look probably pretty good. And we'll hit enter. Okay, and we'll take that, well before we do it we can go ahead and make everything and then drag it to where we want. So uh, let's go ahead and take this curve, go to our curves menu, offset curve, uh, through point. Let's do both directions. And our, our large stones there we want to uh, kind of keep an eye on. Something like this. And then we'll take this one and kind of get it in place. Actually we could probably just draw our curve. that's okay it works that way whichever way works you could just draw an arc, another arc there uh, and this one we want to rotate and I'm going to grab that midpoint so this and this will light up my arrows and then I can just drag it freely and kind of drag it into place where I want it and give it a little bit more spin slowly something like that should be okay and now we'll go ahead and hide this and we'll go to our uh, extend right and we'll go ahead and select this curve and hit enter and then select it again and drag it out and hit enter so it'll close out that uh, I should have done it on the site I'll go ahead and right click bring it back out hit enter click here and then drag that out and again to this curve here first hit enter right click hit that hit enter drag that out and uh, enter and then one more time drag this one enter 
Uh, there we go. We want this one. Okay. All right. So we have this, <coughs> and now from here, sorry about that. Uh, we'll go ahead back to our line curve. Oh, well, we want to complete that, and we'll go somewhere around here and just go over to here and give it a little depth. And this one, we'll hit. We'll close out of that. Uh, and go to our line curve, grab one more line, and this one I want a nice little sharp angle. Something like maybe this here. Alright, and now what we'll do is we'll just go ahead, uh, we'll keep that, it gives me a little look-see. Uh, we'll take all our yellow, and we'll do a little trimming. Get rid of this. Oh. Okay, we'll take all our yellow, go to trim, and trim this off, trim this off, trim this off, trim this off. This is our uh, curve so uh, for our stone, so we don't want to do anything with that. And we'll hit enter. And right away I'll just go ahead and take that and then hide it. We might need it later, who knows. Let's go ahead and add prongs on this so we can see where they're going to be. Yeah, so that's cutting in there, so we'll need to manipulate that or move that prong, and actually moving it's probably better. Uh, so we'll go in and uh, do our height first, and then check our width. little bit thicker all right looks good we'll drag our bottom up a little bit don't need them coming down that high or that low something like that and we'll just hit enter okay so uh, now we'll need to Let's see, let's go back to our top view here. And let's take these prongs and uh, ungroup them for a second. And I'm going to just take this one, holding down control, deselect that. I'm going to join those back together. And then I want to manipulate this one a little bit. So I'll go to my solids, I think it is, and go to my MSR objects. And that way I have history on this. Uh, and uh, we'll move it uh, into place here a little bit. Something like that there. Yeah. And hit enter. And then we'll take that and our other prongs and we'll group them back together. So there we have that. Okay. And this line this line, this line, and this line, we will join together. Alright, and then we'll pick this line, go to our curves, offset, and we'll change the distance to a 0.5. Hit enter, so it'll give us something like this. All right. And I could actually probably sweep this one with no issues, but we'll just go ahead and do it uh, the way we did the, the first one. Uh, so we have something like this. All right. And let's see. We want to... We'll go ahead and keep that sharp edge on the inside, but we will go ahead and clean up that outside a little. Point 0.2 should be fine. Just give us something like that. Uh, actually, let's see what this looks like. Recall that command, point two. Uh, that doesn't look too bad, so we'll just take it. All right, so now we need to get our depth right. So let's go ahead and select all this and go ahead and hide it so we can get a good look on this one. And we want to drop this one down first. And it will be to uh, where, how, where we want the cutout to be, right? Uh, so we'll drop this one down to maybe uh, point 0.3, somewhere around there. Alright, and 
then we want to take this one well actually I should have duped that so let's go back real quick I needed to dupe it uh, so we'll select that curve again and we'll go to our front holding down alt and drag it down to around a point three three point fives and we'll hit uh, let's just go to all our views okay <laughs> all our views and I go back to <laughs> alright so that looks good so far alright so we go down uh, okay and then on this what we want to do is uh, first grab this one go to our front view holding down alt this will be the depth of our stone let's bring back uh, our item there so we can find out how far down holding down alt we want to drag it down to about the same width as our base here and also we want to drag uh, that'll be our cutout Let's see, we want to, we'll have to, this one goes here, there, there, that'll be solid, this will be our base, so let's drag this one down, go to our front view, holding down alt, line that up to that are our other line there right there so it goes in here goes up to here and we'll need to do one more I think let's see otherwise that won't have any oh yeah well it'll have depth right there no no depth okay so let's see I gotta figure this out real quick uh, we'll go to we need this will go in and then we want it to come up and then over right so really this line here we need I'm a little confused here sorry <laughs> uh, okay we want this one and then we want it to come up and then give it uh, depth so we need let's see well actually let's just leave that there and actually let's take that one down a little bit okay and let's do this let's go ahead and uh, take our curve and go for uh, let's change it to red and we'll go from this quad down to this quad and then we'll go from this end here over to this quad here and we'll go from this quad here to that quad so give us the rail there, this rail, and this rail, and we'll cap that off at the bottom, perhaps. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this curve and go to a planar surface, and we'll put a planar curve on there, alright? And we'll hit enter, and we'll take that, s oh there's two surfaces. Uh, We'll take that surface, uh, change it to green, and we'll change our color to green here. And we'll uh, go to surface 2, that curve there, with our curve up here, and then this one, and hit enter, and that'll give us our inside, and hit enter. And then we'll take that curve here, to this curve here, and then this one, and enter, enter. 
and then this curve here to this curve down here and then hit and enter and enter and then we're going to take this one and a uh, planar curve this surface and hit enter okay enter nope back out okay so let's take Let's go ahead and hide all this real quick. And then let's take, uh, yeah, let's take our green and we'll join it together. Closed poly surface. Okay. So uh, we'll hide our yellow real quick and we'll do a little blending to smooth all that stuff off. Uh, let's see, we'll go back to our solids, down to uh, fillet edges, blend, and we'll hide red too. And we'll select this edge, and it's a point 0.1, that's what our others are, so we'll just leave it at that. And we'll right click, bring it back, select this one, point 0.1, enter, enter, and we'll right click, point 0.1, enter, enter. Oh, I didn't check them all. Yeah, that's why I should have. Let's go back one. Let's check it. Open. Let's go back one. Closed. Okay, so that one worked okay here at the bottom. Let's take this right here and hide it because we got a miss up up here. So let's go ahead and fillet edges again. This one probably right in here that surface looks a little hinky uh, flay this edge okay and hit enter enter open poly surface okay so let's go back undo that fillet Let's take this and explode it here real quick. Let's take this surface and delete it. Turn back on our red so that there. Let's see if we can get these curves a little bit better. Let's turn back on our yellow. Uh, and let's uh, go ahead, change to red, grab a line curve and see if we can clean up these edges a little bit. Quad to quad. 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 Where's our quad? There's our. Qu That's not really our quad, but okay. Okay, I'm gonna do redo this one. Are my mids on? Let's turn my mid, and maybe it'll give me a mid. There we go, mid to mid. And let's take this one, delete it, and let's do that again. Mid mid we'll come over here that looks one that one looks okay that one looks a little off so let's delete that one right click go to mid to mid all right now let's do that sweep one more time just to see if it'll give us a little bit better surface to work with surface two here here one two three or enter there we go yeah see it looks a little bit better and we'll hit enter now we'll join all that together again and check it closed poly surface okay so let's try that again let's hide our yellow and go to uh, our recent commands and uh, blend edge and this edge here, this edge, and it looks like it went all the way around. And we'll hit enter, enter, and close poly service. Yeah, that cleaned it up, made it easier. It might have to do the same thing to the inside. It doesn't look like it. Uh, right click on that, and we'll just go around and select these edges. Enter enter check it close poly surface okay 
so we have this it's solid right now which you can leave it solid I guess if you uh, you know it's kind of hanging out there so it might not be a bad thing uh, but let's go ahead and turn on our yellow and uh, the reason why I kept this one is because what we can do is now we can go to our little ball there and extrude it out and go to our front view turn it on wireframe and we can give it a little cutout something like oh did I extend it again okay let's back go back one yeah I extended it again so let's take that curve and then drag it up to where we want it and then we'll just type in C A P enter and we should have a closed surface closed surface so what can we do with that we can boolean and give us a little cutout right so let's go ahead and take this surface uh, go to our solids uh, go to boolean difference and this is our second surface and enter and take a look at it and hit enter yeah okay so we'll hide that hide all our yellow Oh, hide our yellow select this get rid of it turn it to gray there's our cutout and let's see how this does over here with the uh, blend uh, so we'll do another blend here fillet edge blend and we'll take uh, this one here this one here this one, this one, this one, and this one, and hit enter, enter, and check our surface, closed, and we're good to go. Alright, so we got a closed poly surface there. Next thing we need to do is go ahead and select our stones, and actually, uh, before we do all that, again, uh, we'll go ahead and show everything and we'll grab everything and throw it into a job bag good point to come back to right so we have all that saved and uh, now I'm going to take all this hide it again real quick grab you two slap you in there and we'll do our uh, cutout here so let's do our cutters uh, gym cutter and again we'll do a little manipulation turn it to uh, wireframe uh, we'll drag this up just a little bit make some nice holes for light to get in there we'll lower the girdle a little zero and we'll bring it in just slightly somewhere around there should be fine uh, and hit enter and we'll go back to our shaded and we'll go to our solids uh, boolean difference this surface enter yeah, what happened there okay so we'll do it one more time close surface okay so boolean difference select this surface enter this surface enter enter hide our gems take a look grab that one that's not boolean to hide it and we have our prongs there alright and last thing we need to do is join those prongs together uh, sorry uh, first surface would be our item second surface would be our prongs and enter and check it close poly surface okay bring back our gemstones let's show everything now and we should be good to go okay so let's go to our top view and now we kinda want to first get this thing in order so we'll select all our red and we'll just go ahead and turn it to gray and we're gonna move it so it's not gonna maintain anything anyway so could have gotten rid of it uh, so we'll select this and we just want to manipulate it kinda a little bit better where we want it okay a uh, little bit more oh my stones messed up so let's uh, back out of that oh because it didn't take the gray curve with it perhaps 
I need that curve here. I'm going to change that to, oh, and then get rid of gray. Okay. <coughs> so we'll select all this, and we want to manipulate it up in place where we exactly where we want it. So I want it coming into here. Yeah, something like that there looks okay, maybe. Let's take this, my history's off, so we'll rotate it, F4. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. Let's back out of that again. Let's take this all again, and I actually want to rotate it a little bit. Give it more something like that that I think and then I want to move it into place something like that you can you know mess around with it wherever you kinda want it to be a little bit more here. starting to get a lot out there so it's taking a little longer okay yeah, something like that maybe. We can always go back and manipulate that before we join everything together, but let's go ahead and uh, let's do a dynamic mirror this time. And we'll hit enter. And actually this stone here, I might want it a little larger. So let's go over here and just edit this stone just slightly go to our size I think we had it like a four or something uh, it's a 5.2 let's put it up to 5.8 let's put it to a seven pointer and let's hit done and let's drag that up just a little something like that and hit enter there we go that looks a little bit better kind of giving it our angel look right uh, so that looks okay Yeah, and our cutouts, we have a hollow piece. So uh, this will conclude part uh, three, uh, our midsection, and now we'll move on to part four where we'll either, we'll make a bell and we'll also make it for earrings. So we'll do uh, earrings first, it's a little bit easier. Uh, and then we'll change it to bell so we can have uh, earrings and pendant uh, with our design. All right, uh, so, see you in a few seconds okay uh, we're back uh, let's go ahead and uh, make this uh, top for the earring we'll do the earring first uh, the first part was the head the second part was this design here the third part was all this in here and now we're going to make the top for the earring itself uh, first thing maybe we want to do is take a look and our stone bezel there is a little bit low right uh, so maybe go back in here uh, and edit that just a little, maybe drag it up a little. And uh, hit enter and then uh, our bezel, uh, we'll edit it just a little. Uh, go to our uh, right view and uh, bring that uh, height down to where it kind of matches up with everything else. And uh, hit enter there. So we got that set up. All right. Uh, so now our bezel's up a little bit higher, which is kind of what we want, and everything goes in nice and smoothly, and we'll connect everything at the very end. And there's lots of different ways we can make connections. Uh, if you want it to, to be able to move, or if you want it uh, solid, uh, or you want the this one dangling a little bit where it's moving or, or solid. And we'll come to all that later. Uh, and so we'll go to our top, and we need to uh, do some drawing up here for our uh, top of our uh, earring. Uh, so let's go to our curves and oh, I'm already there <laughs> and uh, grab an arc direction and we'll change our color to yellow and we'll start somewhere I don't know let's see it'll be two millimeter yeah maybe somewhere right around in here and we'll just kind of drag come over and drag and then drag it in something like this 
and we'll grab that and uh, do a mirror to the other side F4 holding down shift and we'll do another uh, arc direction uh, from with our snaps on from this one to this one and we'll kind of bump it up like that because we're it's kind of going to resemble an angel right uh, so uh, now we'll grab a uh, line curve and we'll just close that off all right so something like that and we'll take uh, all our yellow here and we'll just join that together all right and if you haven't saved it it might be a good time to save it uh, and from here what we'll do is we'll select that curve go to our surface and are we even an earthquake yeah we are a little small earthquake uh, and uh, what we'll do is we'll go to a uh, planar curve and we'll just hit enter and that probably put me two out there yeah okay so we'll get rid of one we'll change this to this color here alright and uh, like before we want to lay out our stones first but we have our shape right uh, so this surface what we'll do is we'll go to a uh, gems we'll pick our surface and we'll just go to pave and no nothing showing up right so oh no right so if this ever happens uh, it's really no big deal uh, they're placing them on the bottom so that means my uh, surface direction is not pointing in the right direction so uh, what I'll need to do is first back out of that command and then select my surface in the command line type dir and hit enter and it'll give you the the direction uh, of your uh, curves and those whites are the norms so they're pointing in the wrong direction so we'll just flip and then hit enter and we'll go back to our top view and we'll select that surface again and go to our pave builder and now we can see our stones uh, so there's a lot we can do here we could you know go ahead and take something like this which really isn't that bad we could place another stone over there uh, and keeping them with our 1.3s here or we could do some uh, manipulation in our window here first we could switch it to straight to see what it looks like uh, not even close so we'll go back to hex and we could bump those down kinda see what we get uh, you could always put another stone here smaller stone you know right here and here uh, we'll change the diameter a little bit maybe bump that back up let's see what that does uh, let's go down let's go down to 0.8 let's see what that does that's pretty cool what's our tolerance 1.5 mm. actually that's not too bad and I kind of like that because uh, I can do a little manipulation in here and here and we'll just go ahead and uh, we'll take that see what it does okay so there's our stones and right away let's go ahead and check out see what our prongs will look like settings oh, that ain't gonna work <laughs> uh, we'll go to our stones and we'll go to the pave prongs and see what that does oh select my surface right here and there we go alright and uh, I'll go and uh, probably a little bit sl small so what I'll do is go to my overlap and just kind of bump it up a little bit there's a three there's a four I kind of like the four uh, that, that looks cool there yeah alright so we'll just go ahead and accept it let's check our height here real quick yeah, height's okay. Uh, so go. Uh, let's go to all four here, and we'll just go ahead and accept that and hit enter. All right. So we'll go back to our top. Now there's a little space here and a little here that we probably want to maybe mess around with. Everything else looks pretty good. Uh, what I could do, uh, you know, for some of this is uh, just go ahead and uh, ungroup these real quick right and now I can uh, take this and with my snaps off uh, I'm actually able to go in and uh, just uh, hold down alt and select one of those prongs and just kind of uh, 
add another prong there and then hold down alt and kind of add prongs where I think they need to a little gap to fill in hold down alt 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 and I can just kinda add some extra prongs in there hold down alt maybe one right in yeah, I don't know if I like that one right there hold down alt I definitely not okay let's get rid of this one delete alright so something like that so we added this one this one this one this one, this one, this one, I think this one here, and I think that's it. So let's go ahead and mirror those from F4 and see what it looks like. Yeah, okay, so we can probably add one right here and one right here. So let's go ahead and select this one. Hold down Alt, grab that one let's put one right here and hold down alt and put one right over I think it was on that stone right there okay so that looks alright and coming down here probably just grab this one here hold down alt and just drag it out to maybe here it gives that little V look right there and I don't think we can fit one in there or there uh, we can try why not hold down alt yeah it's okay hold down alt mm, no no and we'll just go ahead and drag that one off and delete him so we have that one there everything looks okay yeah all right so from here what we need to do is go ahead and give it some depth right so let's see uh, let's take that curve what happened oh it's taking its sweet time there let's take that curve and we'll kind of just look around here and we'll actually let's go to our right view sitting up a little high for our bezel so let's grab all this and we'll drag it down just a little something like that uh, and then we'll uh, grab that curve oh, it's just slow today and we'll go to our right view we'll hold down another earthquake okay uh, and then we'll uh, just drag this down to where our other uh, bases are and so we have this and it's hollow underneath right so this will be our uh, base yeah okay uh, and then we'll just click off that we'll go ahead click on this and click well we'll just click that off delete it just click on this and uh, type in cap enter so now it's on both sides right so that's a solid piece and let's see here what we got that looks pretty cool uh, and uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, yeah uh, we'll duplicate uh, this and we'll just go ahead and duplicate in place and then from here what we're going to do is go back to our top we're going to do this one a little bit differently and uh, we'll uh, 
hold down shift and click on our checkerboard and make this just a little bit bigger something like this here and now we have two right so we have uh, this is the one we want to kind of work with a little bit we'll click on that and we'll take this one and we will uh, go to our right view drag it down a little somewhere around in there where it will give us kind of our height right uh, and let's see yeah it'll take a chunk of let's go ahead and uh, go to our right view and we'll go to our transform uh, and we'll go to scale 1D uh, from let's just grab it point snaps on we'll go from like this point here to that there and we'll just drag this up a little something like that I think yeah. okay and now let's try doing a boolean We'll go to solids, a boolean difference. Uh, this will be our first surface, enter. This will be our second surface, uh, enter. Oh, let's undo that. That's not what I want. Well, that's okay. Yeah, that's actually okay. Uh, and we'll hit enter, and that'll bring back our piece, right? And so let's get rid of one of those, uh, this one here we'll uh, hide it for right now and then let's take this piece and go to our right view turn on a wireframe here and we'll drag it up to about the top of our stones okay let's grab this piece back is it in here Let's turn on our wireframe here. Curve, surface, okay. And we'll go to our right view. Drag that. Well, let's put on our snaps there, or our wireframe. Let's pull this up and let's take a look at this. this what we got going on here? Uh, that's our curve. This is our surface. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go back to our right view. Sorry. Uh, we'll grab this one. I guess we got two of them there. And we'll drag that. Let's go to wireframe. Drag that right into where we want our uh, stones base to be something like that. We'll go ahead and hide this one. I'll go back to our perspective. Shaded. And what we'll do is we'll do a boolean difference. This time this will be our first service. Enter. This will be our second service. Enter. Okay. There we go. There's our cutout. Alright. And we'll hit enter. And we'll go ahead and hide. Well, we'll keep that one. Uh, poly surface this one here I think is the one we want to hide and then let's just uh, change this to this color and hide it first yeah okay alright so we got this one and what we want to do is go back to our right view turn it on wireframe again and we want our cutout on the bottom right so we'll do something like this and go back to our perspective and so we can get our cutout on the bottom Wait a minute, is that the wrong surface? It looks like it. Uh, let's change that one to blue. And let's show. Where's our cutout? What happened to our cutout here? It's gone. Okay, so let's go back. Let's hide this. Let's 
This is the one we want, so let's take this and hide that. All right, I don't know what happened there. Well, anyway, let's just go ahead and grab that curve, and we'll just go back and extrude it again. All right. And we'll hit Enter, and then we'll take that surface and cap it. Enter. I don't want to hide anything. I want to cap this thing. C-A-P. Enter. Okay, it's capped. Let's go back to our right side again. And let's drag it down, maybe around here. Give it some good distance. All right. And are we still good on top? Yep. And so now let's do a Boolean difference. This will be our first surface. This will be our second surface. Enter. Enter. And we'll hide this one. And now we have our cutout, right? Okay. So far, so good. And are we solid? Yes, we are a closed surface. So we have this, and uh, now we want to do a little, uh, let's go ahead, let's take all this, uh, and real quick, let's change it to green and hide it. Let's, oh yeah, we need to hide that too. Take all these prongs, I didn't group them. And we'll change that to green as well. And we're going to bring back everything and turn that to gray. And then bring back, turn off gray. And we have everything here. And now I have to do it manually. So let's go ahead and change this back to green. Let's take all our right view here. Take all our prongs. Turn them to purple. Hide purple, hide green, and take our stones, and we'll change them back to blue. And turn back on everything. Okay, so got all this. So far, so good. Now let's see if we can do that uh, blending. So we'll go to our uh, solid. We'll come down to our fillet edge and we'll see if it'll uh, work for us. Preview, yes. So we'll select this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge. Hit enter and boom, boom, it blew it up. So let's go to select all and I want a point 0.1, not 1.0. And hit enter and hit enter and check it close poly surface so far so good and i am going to leave those on the inside sharp edges on this top part and let's check out our bottom here that looks a little thin right there let's go ahead right click take that this this and this and hit enter enter and check it. Close surface. Okay. Yeah, that one doesn't look like it's going to, so I'm not going to. Uh, we'll keep that solid on the inside there. I probably could have made that a little thicker there. Alright, so let's look at this. Because we need to put a, a post on it, right? And we don't want our uh, wires coming through. So real quick, let's go ahead and uh, do these cutters here. I think I did them in the last video, but uh, my computer blew up and I, I lost them all. And that's why you... Oh, okay, the same. All right. So we'll take cutters. Cutters go in here. What I want to do is uh, take that seat placement. Looks good. Let's go to wireframe, girdle, zero, placement up a little, and make it a little smaller, and let's drag this up just a little bit more, and let's check, bottom is okay, let's 
hit enter let's take those cutters mirror them over from to f4 hold down shift take this surface this this surface and not this surface and let's go to solids boolean union or boolean difference with these cutters here and these cutters here and hit enter the board command let's just go ahead and get rid of all of this here and let's take this it says fairies okay now it says close uh, so we'll do boolean difference we'll take these this enter enter got two surfaces okay so we'll take that one hide it Take this closed poly surface. We'll take uh, Boolean union. This enter. This enter. Enter. Take our purple there. Turn them to gray. Hide our stones real quick. Take a look. Okay, looks good. Take this. Mirror it over to F4. From F4, holding down Shift there and then take our stones as well should have done that in one swoop all right there we go all right and let's see okay we're going to look at this under here that should be okay though so what I'm going to do is, w like I said, we need a place for our post, right? So I'm going to go to, uh, well, I'll just go to my top view. Uh, well, no, I won't. I need this view here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, first, I'm going to duplicate this edge here and I'll hit enter <coughs> alright and then what I'm going to do is get a line curve and let's see I'll go to my uh, mid and I'm just going to hold down shift and uh, draw it out a little somewhere around there and then I'm going to, I'm in perspective okay I'm going to go to my uh, line curve, click on that, and I want it straight up, or down in this case. Go back to my perspective. And then what I'm going to do is draw me a circle around that curve from right here. Go to uh, top view. Uh, turn off snaps something like that okay yeah all right and uh, let's see I'm going to grab that curve go to my right view and I want to drag it to where it's pretty much lined up with this here go back to my perspective actually I could have just drawn this flat on planar and we want uh, something to go in there so what we're going to do is we'll go to our line curve and we'll make sure our uh, snaps are on and near is on so I'll go somewhere around uh, that's a mid I don't want a mid somewhere around here to maybe here and then I'll take that uh, curve and I'll mirror it with my center snap on from there hold down shift okay so we have that uh, and then right now I'm just going to go ahead and select all this here and hide it for a second and grab those prongs we'll just turn off purple 
and I want to select all this and do some uh, trimming. We want to get rid of this. We want to get rid of this. 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 So I have that piece there. Hit enter and then I'll join that together. Join into one closed curve. And then I'll turn on everything and uh, show everything again. So I have something like this. And then I'll go ahead and uh, take this curve, go to my right view, and turn on wireframe here. And I want it to go up in here. So I'm going to take it and drag it up into here. And it's right on my edge there, so I, I can go ahead and bring that in a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and extrude it down. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on that. I'll bring it up just a little. So it's pretty close to the same surface area as what I have out there. There we go. And then I'll cap it. Okay, so we have that and it's going into our surface uh, right in here right this is uh, the surface so it's going in so it should boolean union okay and that's where our post will go for the earring so let's do try a boolean union here uh, go in grab a boolean union this will be our first surface second surface enter enter and we'll get rid of that yellow turn it to gray and now I have some place for my earring post, right? Yeah, cool. And it should be nice and comfortable for them to, to put on their ear. And we're almost done. Uh, let's go ahead and, let's see, uh, go to, what was it? Uh, I'm not sure where they're at. So let's go to, is it projects? or collect let's go to collections uh, displays collect categories uh, findings we got a little hoop dangle thing we got we could put this thing on it we don't have a post and oh yeah we do right here we'll just go ahead and take that and we'll import it it yeah there it is okay I don't know why gray come on either all right so we got this big huge thing here is that I wonder if that's normal size for him Ooh, no 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 don't want to take that with it let's go back there we go we just want the earring in post and we'll go to our right view We'll drag it over and down and put it right inside our thing there. Of course, this will be something that the craftsman will solder on, not something that we will uh, cast or print. Right, so, uh, and we'll just grab that and try and get it in the center there. that and now we have a beautiful earring for the most part so what we're going to do uh, now uh, we had one two three four and now what we're going to do is connect everything up that'll be part five okay uh, that way it's broken down and so if you want to come back and try to do this yourself or view it or whatever uh, it'll be easier for you to uh, to view and you could spruce this up and we might even do that uh, just throw it in there uh, so we'll move on to part uh, five connecting everything together in different ways to connect them okay we're just about finished with uh, the earrings here 
and uh, the last thing we need to do is make sure we connect everything together uh, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it one way but you could put o-ring you know an o-ring going this way an o-ring going that way on each item uh, and then have them move same thing with this one here put an o-ring here or just put a, a piece of wire through here and drill a hole uh, so that those move and the same thing with this so you could put uh, uh, o-rings on there. I'm going to go ahead and make uh, this a solid piece though. Uh, and there's some things uh, right away that uh, you, you're going to have to be aware of I guess. So like uh, if we go to our f uh, top view here uh, and we wanted to go ahead and just move this right. Uh, it uh, jacks all up all right so that's that's one thing you need to be aware of uh, and why it does it I'm not a hundred percent sure <laughs> but it does it and there's a real easy workaround all you have to do is take the item and then uh, duplicate it uh, just from here holding down shift so you know it's straight out and click over here and then get out of it and then just l delete that original and now you can move this one just about anywhere you want it and uh, nothing's going to uh, come apart on you. Alright, so uh, the best way to get that back exactly where you want it is go to your transform menu, go to center objects, it, click enter, uh, and then drag it straight up, and then go to your uh, right view because of that uh, uh, earring post on it right and then uh, drag it down to where the other items are and then just uh, drag it right on into where you want it placed something like that all right uh, so the the next thing is is our, our bezel here is a, a little off right so we probably need to fix that a little bit so we'll go back into our, our bezel and we'll just uh, angle it out so it kind of conforms a little bit better to our items so that they're all going in nice and smoothly something like that maybe a little bit more something like that there uh, and then we'll just go ahead and hit uh, enter and accept that so just uh, so that everything butts up nice and smooth and it's not blocking anything so that's fine uh, there is one other thing uh, of course I haven't done my uh, cutters there and there's an issue we'll talk about there as well uh, but we have the cutters on everything else and everything looks pretty decent uh, but uh, let's talk about this here first so let's go ahead and join these three pieces together uh, let's go to our solids, uh, Boolean union, uh, this surface here, enter, this surface here, enter, and enter, okay. Now, when you try to do this one, uh, this surface here, enter, and then this surface, enter, uh, it blows up on you, right? So, back out of that. Uh, the, uh, the reason is they're planar with each other. So, uh, what we need to do is just go over here, select this one, go ahead and click on it type in 0.01 uh, hit enter just very very minute uh, level it will not be noticeable and then go ahead and boolean union uh, this one here and this one here and it should be fine and enter so we have that so let's get rid of this surface here and turn it off and everything else should be okay now let's uh, go back here real quick and talk about those cutters on this and I think there's a so let's go ahead I got everything grouped together uh, I'll ungroup it here real quick alright and I ungroup those real quick yeah that one there I knew there was one uh, because it would not uh, boolean um, you can also go down to your uh, smart and if there's uh, pops up here select all dupes uh, you can hit that and it should be able to pick it up for you uh, so let's go ahead and let's do these cutters here on these stones so let's go to our cutters and go ahead and place them on there and now obviously we don't want these cutters going through this piece here right so you kinda gotta f figure out which ones they are uh, and uh, 
uh, ungroup them and, and do them individually or uh, that you can do them together but not uh, with everything else. So let's go ahead and drag this up to where we know they're sticking through and then we want to do a little manipulation on the bottom here make them a little bit bigger check it out again they're still sticking through so uh, okay so we have like that one there you don't want to cut that one uh, this one here uh, so there's some that you don't want to cut first of all we'll go ahead and hit enter we'll take these and ungroup them and then find the ones that uh, go from our top view uh, that probably are cutting into our item so if you go to wireframe you might be able to see this it looks like uh, some of these here uh, so I'll hold down control I'll select this one this one uh, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and we'll flip it over and see if uh, those are pretty much the ones that we want so far. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, so I un and then we'll group these back together. And uh, now we'll take these and just hide them real quick so we can kind of see what we got up. Yeah, that, those are the ones we want, that little group right there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and show them. And now we'll do a, uh, a Boolean difference from this item here, enter, to these here, and enter, and enter. And we'll hide those real quick. Okay we have two surfaces out here that's the one with the holes we want the one without the holes turn it to gray get rid of it and turn those off there's our holes okay so now we can just uh, select these here uh, and uh, try and remember where they're at and because we need to go back and place uh, more cutters one two one two three one two one okay because if we tried to do uh, cutters we'll get them all so we don't want them all uh, so we'll uh, delete those and then we'll select uh, these stones again and then ungroup them and holding down all oh I think it was one two one two three one two one perhaps and we'll group these back together and uh, deselect those and we'll go ahead and pick our items again I think it was these and put group them together and we'll go ahead and put cutters on them and see if I have the right ones yeah it looks like those are the right ones and now they're sticking all the way through right so we don't want that so what we're going to do is we're going to drag this up a little bit and then uh, from our right view uh, in wireframe we can see where the bottom of that rail is and we just take them up to the bottom of our stones somewhere around there and we'll check it out make sure it's okay yeah all right and then we'll go ahead and select enter and then now we'll do that boolean on this uh, boolean difference select first surface enter select second enter and enter and we'll hide our gemstones and they all have cuts except these right here where they're going to stick uh, through uh, are not uh, cut all the way through because you don't want them kind of it kind of makes it look a little tacky right uh, so we have that so let's go ahead and click on that so what else do we got gotta join this together with this so let's go ahead well let's do the prongs first let's see how they do uh, so we'll do boolean union with these and we'll select all our purple it's the only purple out there so we'll select all let's see if it does it and hit enter and it looks like it went okay select it says varies now it says closed and we'll get all our purple and turn them to gray so we have all that and we'll just go ahead and select that green there and uh, we'll change it to gray too 
All right, so we have this, we have this, and we have this. Uh, and like I said, you don't need to uh, put the post uh, because it's not something you're going to uh, print. Uh, that'll be something that the craftsman will put on, uh, solder on. Uh, it's If you cast it, it's too soft and it bends real easy. It's usually wire that's hardened, uh, so it's stiffer. Uh, and then... Uh, so let's go ahead and, and do our try our boolean union with this surface enter and this surface enter and enter okay so all that's joined together and close poly surface so we're good we'll go to our top view and now we need to figure out how you want to attach it in here like i said you can put an o-ring here or put a ring that you know for uh, printing purposes you don't want it attached you want it just dangle, you know, like maybe coming out, but you want to cut the hole in this piece, uh, and then, uh, but when you print it, you you want to move it so that it's just kind of angling out, so that the craftsman could slide that on there, bend it over to the other side, snap it in, and solder it to that side, and then that will go back and forth, and then this one's the same way. You can uh, put an O-ring on here or do another. Uh, rail crossed here and then have it so that the craftsman can uh, slide on the head and then the pin or the teardrop will move back and forth. There's all different kinds of ways you could put this together. Uh, but we're just going to make it really simple because this video has been taking you uh, a lot of your time. So uh, we're going to turn off our snaps and go to our curve and we'll just grab another arc direction. Uh, arc direction sorry I don't know why I did that uh, and we'll change it to yellow and we'll kind of attach it from maybe around here holding down shift over to about here and then drag that down and uh, we'll see where it's placed right on the seaplane so we'll just leave it there for right now uh, and we'll take it and we'll just go ahead go to our solids and give it a good uh, piping and we'll go over here and put it up to maybe a uh, 0.8 enter and a 0.8 enter uh, and we'll just go ahead and accept that and we'll just take that and uh, kind of drag it down into our item kind of drag it to where it's up a little maybe a little bit more okay something like that and it looks like it's part of her body there anyway uh, and now let's hide our stones real quick because that's coming over right and it's coming across here so we don't want that and it's sticking across there so there's a couple things we can do we can just take that and we can shrink it a little bit and then pull it back down to get it out of the here here and here uh, and it still looks looking good and now what we can do is um, we can do a couple things actually uh, we can take our item here and we can do a uh, boolean uh, difference actually let's just go ahead and try that first uh, boolean difference so let's see this will cut this will keep these will disappear uh, maybe so let's uh, do a boolean difference see if they first second third serve oh, uh, deselect uh, enters yeah so that we have our pieces but it got rid of everything uh, so let's go ahead and undo we want to get rid of this one there there's our pieces and what we'll do is we'll take this ungroup them and we want to get rid of this one, this one, and I think this one here. 
and now we need to get our item back right which we can't which we should be able to boolean go to edit show but it got rid of everything else all right our gemstones are all still there boolean all right bezel boolean show keep on working our way up the line boolean show keep on working our line boolean show boolean show So it should have all our items back out there, but I don't think the bullion. Oh yeah, they're still bullion. Well, some of them are. Okay. Well, we should have probably done that one first. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Uh, let's put our stones. I so everything else is still okay. Do we have our prongs there? No, we don't. Our prongs are gone, and all our cuts are probably gone. So if we hide our gemstones. Ah, the cuts are still there, but not on that one. There's another bullion. Show. But anyway, it uh, obviously uh, took our items away, and we can't get them back. So let's go back here real quick. Okay, so let's go forward. Okay, so we have this. All our gemstones are here, so we know that's good. Uh, so let's uh, take this, since that's what we're going to be bullying it with, as well as this. And we'll even take this just to be safe. And we'll just go ahead and job bag it. probably should have done that anyway. Our stones are all out there, so okay. So now we have it job bag. So if we lose it, we can get it back real easy. All right. So let's take this and get it back into place. Uh kind of down in here, right? It's kind of sticking through just a little, so let's just kind of do that and that. All right, so it looks like it's okay. And now we'll uh, do that bullion again. So we'll take uh, this and this, and we'll do bullion difference with this here and hit enter. And w okay, I did it the wrong way. So let's back out of that. We'll take hit right click first service will be this one enter this one and this one and enter and there we got rid of uh, all that which we didn't really want but now we have we'll hit enter and first of all we'll just get rid of this full one here and then this one we will ungroup and we'll get rid of the pieces that we don't want and now that we have this over here we can just bring everything back wait for it to load up all right so we should be okay and let's take a look at that so it'll just give us this this and let's see if this works uh, we'll do a boolean union with a this and enter and then this and this enter enter okay so we got that one we'll hide this and we will hide this one okay last thing would be is uh, boolean union one more time select this one enter select this one enter and enter and there we go everything's joined together 
Okay, so we'll grab that yellow, turn it to gray, put our stones back out there, and we're just about done. Now let's put our earring item so we know that's out there. Alright, so we have everything. Last thing we need to do is to join up uh, this piece here, and we could do it the exact same way. Uh, but I don't think we'll need to do all that bullion stuff. Uh, let's go to our top view. We can actually have just one coming straight down here. Well, let's try that. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, and we'll just grab a curve, uh, turn it to yellow. Uh, all our snaps are off. We'll take it from like right in here into holding down shift into here. And we'll select that and go to our solids and do a pipe. And we'll uh, flip it over here and take a look at it. First, let's make it a little thicker so it's a nice uh, sturdy piece. Uh, let's take it to maybe a point uh, 7, enter, and to a point 7, enter. Alright, so let's okay we'll just go ahead and hit enter and we'll take that and drag it down kind of take a look at it take it down a little bit more and it kind of goes out into our ring right now and it goes into that. So let's take this, go ahead and 2D it so it's not so long. And we'll move it into this item a little bit. A little bit more. And we'll drag it up even a little. And we'll even drag it a little bit more in there. We'll 1D it this way, and 1D it a little bit this way. Oop, not that one. This one. Okay. And actually that kind of gives us a little Y right in there, right? Which isn't really that bad. And you could you could play around with this. Make it a little bit however you want. Let's see top. That's not too bad. I kind of like the way that Y's out. It kind of gives it a little extra. Uh, and then pretty much the only thing you need to do is do uh, let's check that out one more time let's move our stones hide our stones nothing's go blocking our stones let's go to perspective flip it upside down one more time take a look it's not sticking through anywhere and except for right here which is no big deal I don't think uh, we can grind that out real easy uh, or you could do the bullying again uh, and we'll just do a boolean union uh, we'll abort that command we'll do a boolean union, select first surface, this enter, this surface, enter enter and then our last thing that we really need to do is uh, boolean union one more time uh, this surface, enter, and then our head, right? it looks like we have two of them, so let's back out of that command and get rid of one of them and we'll do a first surface, enter, second surface, enter, enter, and let's take that item there and turn it to gray. And you are pretty much done. Let's scroll down here, take a look. Yeah. And it's a nice little earring, right? The only thing you need to do now is if you're going to do any uh, extra work, uh, like if you wanted to add beads, you could add beads going around. 
which is uh, pretty easy to do. There is one thing on the bead, since our surface is a little jacked, I'll go ahead and point out. Uh, like this one here, our surface is not really matching up exactly. Uh, if you look closely, some of the, like this is just slightly off, right? There's a workaround, as always, there always is. Uh, you can go to your curves menu, right? Go back down to your dupe uh, edge. Uh, make sure you're on yellow. And then you can dupe this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge and hit enter and then you can do a uh, tween curves a t-w-e-e-n tween curves hit enter select uh, the two curves uh, this curve here this curve here no nope, I didn't join them together first uh, take all your uh, uh, yellow and uh, join them so now they should uh, be uh, curve, one curve, two curves, and let's get rid of this one here. That was the tween curve. And now when you type in tween curves, T-W-E-E-N curves, you're, you're able to get that one in the center. Uh, this one here, this one here, if you want to put beads on it. Oh, okay, there's one other thing I forgot to do. Uh, see how it goes around right so we don't want it going around we just want this curve cause those curves are fine uh, so what you need to do is just go to uh, your curve here select this curve and click right click on split so we have a point and we'll just drag that point there and do the same thing down here to this side uh, so it becomes let's go ahead and hide green Get rid of that. So now you can do the tween curves. T W E E N tween curves. And it'll give you that uh, curve in the center. There you go. And then you can put beads on that. So if you bring it back out, go to your solids, go to object on curve, and we'll drag those around. We'll make the spacing a little smaller. Size around the point five, and we'll drag that out as far as it will go, and drag this one out as far as it will go, and we'll hit enter. Now this one's uh, no big deal. This one is just a uh, simple getting it in the center there. Getting it to a 0.50. Uh, let's just go over here. <coughs> 0.50, enter, and then hit enter, enter, and then select our curve. Go back to our solids, object on curve. And now we have that going all the way around, right? And I would just put them up to one side. That way you know that that one's right on the point. And this one, we want off the point because we already have a bead pretty much there. Uh, make it smaller, around 0.50. Drag them in. And there you go. Hit enter, and now you can take these, turn them to purple. Take these here, turn them to purple, and mirror them. F4, oh, top view, holding down shift, and there you go. And you could do that to the rest of them. I think the rest of the curves are all fine, actually. And you can have a really nice uh, item. All right. So uh, the only last thing, really, after you join all that together and you put your beads on there if you want, uh, the only thing you have to do is select it all. 
uh, go to dupe uh, and it doesn't matter really where you pick it just hold down shift bring it over and now you have a pair of earrings for uh, your render or whatever you want all right so hope that helps sorry it was so long but there's a lot in there uh, and if you can make this is kind of an intermediate maybe uh, design uh, but it's uh, it's uh, really actually pretty simple after you do it a couple times you'll be able to make stuff like this the the main thing is is you can't really do the sweeps on uh, this kind of uh, sharp edge stuff so you want to draw uh, either do a loft or something draw your lines out there that's probably the most important part so I hope you found the video useful if you stuck around to the whole thing uh, I really <laughs> Uh, uh, impressed <laughs> and uh, uh, thanks for your support and uh, good luck uh, if you found the view video useful please hit that subscribe button thanks very much good designing